YouTube, YouTube, you know, it's your boy, TSJ Starbucks. This is the next episode of Show and Tell. I think we have episode four now, if not four or five, but the right episode will be in the title. But I was supposed to do this Friday, but like always, I forgot or I fell asleep. I don't know, but I just didn't do it. So I'm doing it now. And if I didn't do it now, I don't know when I was going to do it because... I just take my time doing all things, or I'm just forgetful. I have too much shit on my plate. But anyway, this shoe is a shoe I had previously, but I wasn't too comfortable with the size. It was a little tight. So I sold it. Okay, if I ever come across it again, a bigger size for the right price, for either what I paid or a little bit over or what or less than what I paid, then I'll get it. And. I think I got that shoe not two years ago. I had the first sneaker con I ever went to, which was in D.C. And this was, like, when it was, like, smack dead, like, right by the White House and Constitution, all those monumental places. It was, like, not too far from it. Now, I don't know when the next time they even going to have one in D.C. because I just checked sneaker con and, like, they, they ain't got one for, like, at least where I'm at, close to where I'm at at all for damn near this whole year. So, lately, they've just been having it, like, I think it's still considered D.C., but people telling me, like, it's, like, it was uh, considered Baltimore or, like, close to Baltimore where the Baltimore Ravens play, and now they had it again, and I think it was a college or something somewhere. Not too not too far from where they had the first one I went to, but it's, like, nowhere near it. It's, I don't know. But anyway, let's get into the shoe. The LeBron. LeBron 8 box V1. Yeah. You always can tell by the top of this box. I think the V2 uh, top of the box is different. Plus, it says V1 on the opposite side. But this is like a rare colorway to me because I don't see this color too much. I always see the one that looks just like it. And that's the one I originally wanted until I found out about these. And I thought these were fake until I found them. These are the, uh, what do they call them? LeBron 8 uh, V1. On China's because they do have. I ain't even got the laces in these. I forgot I cleaned them. <sighs> Maybe they. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They do have the laces. I just took them out. Uh, the China version, the one that I wanted before I found out about this shoe. Uh, it's basically the same shoe. The only difference is there's no red here at all. It's just a red uh, piping on the swoosh, and they come with white laces. And this one comes with red laces. I don't know if the China version. Uh, has this speckle on the so this has speckle on the uh, air but I don't know if that version doesn't this is clear I mean it's yellowed now but it was clear at one point and this is a clean a clean uh pair the pair I had before that was okay but it was a size 10 and that was before I knew that damn now all of god damn my gum keep getting stuck anyway that was before I found out that uh LeBron's Tend to run small, like extremely small. Like if you wear a ten, you gotta go up to eleven. Damn there sometimes, especially on the nines. Nines is the worst. But uh, this is around the time uh, I had first got hit up to to be on child support by my baby mom. Um, so I was trying to ball out before they started really like taxing me because I had saved up all this money for a car and. I had just got my first my first real job of making good money, and for that to happen, I was pissed. So I just took all the money that I was gonna use to buy a car. I just bought sneakers and well, whatever the fuck I wanted, mostly with sneakers. I bought this, and I also had a Space Jam. Sold that too. I, I still regret that shit to this day. And the the side note on that, people like are very obsessed with uh, Space Jams because. I bought the Space Jam when I bought this. Well, I bought it from the same person, basically. The same stand. And it was a reasonable price. I think I only paid, like, $300 for them. And it was OG everything. Uh, the only thing was the little plastic thing with the XI on it was kind of fucked up. But it wasn't that bad. But as uh, soon as I bought the shoe, like, I, my first thoughts was to take, take them to the uh, car because... The dude didn't have no bag, so I didn't want to be walking around that event the whole time because we had a whole another hour in there walking around with two boxes in my hand. So the whole time, I'm walking away from this stand to the car or, like, out of the building the whole time. 
people are just giving me offers for this shoe. Like, I haven't tried the damn shoe on. Like, all I, I just bought it literally two minutes ago, and people were already asking to buy them off me. It was crazy. But anyway, back to the shoe, excuse me. I wore these, uh, the first, the year I got them, I wore them on Christmas. And I had, I, I started buying size 10 shoes when I found out that all you had to do was take the insole out. Oh, the insole's still in this one. You know, all you had to do was take the insole out of them, and they fit, like, a bigger size, especially when the insole is, like, real thick, and I think these insoles are thick. <sighs> still a little under the weather. Yeah, see how thick that insole is? So that's, like, gives you a whole nother shoe size. But it didn't help that much. Like, I had about that much room, and, like, I, I mean, I like my shoes snug, but not that damn snug, because my thing is, as I got older, is that, a lot of basketball shoes, like, come on, they're made to play basketball in, so they're not going to be comfortable that much for casual walking. So, like, that's why a lot of days me and a lot of the people are wearing runners now, be, runners and actual casual shoes, because they're made for everyday walking. They're made for, like, if you're going to be on your feet for a long period of time. I work two jobs, both eight-hour shifts, like, right right, right back to back, basically, I'm working 7 to 3 at one job, and then right after that, I go to another job, 3 to 11. So I'm on my feet for 16 hours, and I can't be walking around in LeBron's and Jordan's all damn day. So that's why I keep running. But at the same extent, I want, like, I don't want to be, like, sometimes I'm not going to lie. I do wear a couple of my sneakers to work just to look good because that's just me. But I can't, I always bring my backup shoes with me because I can't walk all day with a shoe if, it's a snug fit or it's just just like an uncomfortable shoe or it's a basketball shoe it's not going to be comfortable to wear all damn day so with that being said i carry the runners with me and i like when i'm buying these shoes nowadays i get my true size or i try to get a size bigger if i know i'm gonna wear them a lot and i'm gonna wear these a lot and the south beaches damn near all my lebrons i'm gonna wear them a lot so i've been getting the right size a lot of shoes that i have Sometimes they wasn't the right size. I just got whatever size I could get as long as I can fit them. And, like, sometimes they be a little tight to the point, like, I got that much space. So I only can wear them for so long. But I'm, I I got to the age, like, I'm not doing that no more. And if I do, it's going to be a shoe that I know I'm not going to wear a lot. But if it's a shoe I'm going to wear a lot, I can't get, like, a size 9.5 knowing that my foot is going to touch the tip of the fucking shoe, even with the insole out. It was so bad, uh... I think it was the Air Jordan 8 uh, Women Aquas. The first time I got them, I had got them in a nine and a half men's, which equals, I think, an 11 in women's. And I thought I could get away with it because I had got these and I think the Peapie 8s. Uh, they was a size 10. And they had a nine and a half too. Um, but I went for the 10 because it was cheaper. But I pulled the insole out because when I had the insole in, it was kind of tight. But when I pulled the insole out, they fit fine. Plus, I have a thick sock on. So I said, I think all I gotta do is just wear a thin sock because I'm not. I don't see myself wearing these. First of all, the damn the women aquas was DS for 200, and that was at that time. That was like at the height around 2011, 2012, when everybody know like the sneaker hype was through the roof. Everything was going for mad prices. I don't give a fuck which shoe was cheap. Now they everything was expensive. This shoe goes for like. DS, I think they go for 300 but use you can find these for a good deal, like 180 a little bit cheaper, maybe a little bit higher. But at the height, around when these came out, like 2011, like these shits, DS was going for like four or $500. And use was maybe like $50 cheaper. So to find a DS pair of women aquas, which is a rare colorway of the eights, at that day and time, DS do like i couldn't get that shit up so when i put the shoe on it was kind of tight I said, but i ain't worried about it so when i got home i took the insole out i said i'm still a little tight because i had my um thick socks on so i put some thin socks on like some dress socks or some shit and they still feel kind of tight so I said, let me see how these fit with no socks on because i'm like i don't like to wear shoes with no socks on even in the summer i don't but somebody was telling me like they got this spray or this powder so your feet don't sweat or whatever that's the reason why i never wear shoes without socks anymore they still was kind of tight. I'm like, oh, my God. So I had no choice. I had to sell them. And I ended up finding them again for, uh, I think, a size 11 men's. But he was like a 13 women or something like that. I don't know. But that's just like certain shoes. Like, I just can't. I got to either try them on or I got to uh, 
get a bigger size. And this was one shoe, like, it was too tight for me, but I, I just did not want to part with it. I wanted to keep it so fucking bad, but I, I'm not fucking my feet up. That's one thing. I, I love sneakers to death, but I see my cousin, like, when he was younger, he was real into sneakers, heavy, and he used to get every fucking Jordan. And not knowing, a lot of times, he I don't think he ever really got his size a lot of times. Like, i give you one example. Like, he was the one I was talking about in the Cool Gray video back a long time ago that he stole it off to, well, he didn't steal the truck. He stole it from Foot Locker. He literally, like, put the shoes on and ran out. Has he ever got caught for it? That I don't know. But anyway, obviously, they wasn't his size. They must have been too tight. Because one day, I uh, when the Cool Grays came out again, I went to the mall and got them for him. And when I took them to him, he went to try them on. I seen him put a sock on. Dude had corns everywhere on every fucking toe. And that's the one thing I'm always scared of. I don't want to wear shoes too tight or just fuck my feet up. Like, I, I take pride in my feet. <laughs> and to wear all these expensive-ass shoes, I should. But that's basically the story. I don't know what else to say about this shoe. I mean, if it focus, all that's patent leather. The wraparound's patent leather. Um, This used to be white, but it's like yellowing now and the crazy thing i love this shoe even more now because i know a lot of people don't have it i always find these on ebay for like 300 dollars and i'm not paying that but around the time when i got my income tax and i was just going crazy trying to buy sneakers trying to get my collection back up i found these for like 150 and i think i talked the guy down to like 140 or 130 and for the condition i was like and the box i said dude this is like one of the biggest come up so, with that being said, you know, comment, subscribe, like the video, share, whatever you want to do. I think, um, I don't know what the next one's going to be. I really don't. I'm just randomly picking stuff from the closet and making these videos because I've been lazy and slacking like crazy. So, I, I'm, I think I'm about to do the, uh, the review for the 10s that I got yesterday because I, I, I uploaded the video, but I got to edit it to, like, put all the videos together. So, that's the only reason why it's probably not up. Like, it's not up yesterday like it should have been. It's just uploaded. So, it should be up viewable today. So, with that being said, get back to y'all later.